everyone today we are going to pray for financial breakthrough but before we pray i just want to tell you something listen the most important thing to remember before praying for a financial miracle or breakthrough is that god cares more about our house disposition than how much money we have or will have Many times when God speaks of prosperity for his children, he's speaking of strong faith, long life, good health, blessing of family and friends. Notice how God's prosperity oftentimes has nothing to do with money. God knows that if our hearts and motives are not rightly ordered, words could actually hinder our spiritual progress and relationship with him. The most important aspect for our earthly lives, you know, God said, God is, is infinitely wise. He understands that having money is a necessary part of life. After all, how can we bless others with the gift of finance if we ourselves are lacking? You know, it cannot work. Once our priorities are properly ordered with God first, our Lord loves to bless us financially. We are His children, especially when He knows we will be good stewards of these blessings. Okay, and there are three things to keep in mind before seeking a financial blessings. Number one is God must remain first. No one can serve two masters. Either you will hate the one and love the other, or you will be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve both God and money. Matthew 6, 24. We must first be trustworthy with the gift God has already given to us. However, can we be trusted with very little, can also be trusted with much. And whoever is dishonest with very little will also be dishonest with much. So if you have not been trustworthy in handling worldly wealth, who will trust you with true riches? Luke chapter 16, 10, 11. We are called to be good stewards with what he's about to give to us by giving to the poor. Proverbs 22, 9 and tithing to his church. You see, giving is a very good thing for you to be promoted, for you to have financial blessings. When you have gift to your brother, give to your sister, give to those in need, God will continue to bless you. Now, take the verses you will use to pray whenever you know you are broke, you need money. Matthew chapter 6 verse 33 says, But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Thank you, Lord, that because I'm seeking you and your kingdom first, all these things shall be added unto me. Philippians 4.19 My God will meet all your needs according to the riches of his glory in Christ Jesus. Then you have to thank God for meeting all your needs according to his riches for his glory in Jesus' name. Then Deuteronomy 8.18 But remember the Lord your God for it is he who gives you the ability to produce wealth. And so confirms his covenant, which he swore to your ancestors. Hallelujah. Proverbs 10, 22. The blessings of the Lord brings wealth without painful toil for it. Hallelujah. John 10, 10. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. Hallelujah. Proverbs 22, 4. Humility is the fear of the Lord and its wages are riches and honor and life deuteronomy 29 verse 9 carefully follow the terms of his covenant so that you may prosper in everything you do then let me do this prayer help me to follow your commands wishes and divine will lord so that i may prosper in all that i do hallelujah another one is luke chapter 6 verse 38 give and it will be given to you a good measure praise that shaking together and running over will be poured into your lap for with the measure you use it will be measured to you deuteronomy 28 verse 6 you will be blessed when you come in and blessed when you go out thank you lord for blessing me when i come in and go thank you mighty father for blessing me always proverbs chapter 3 verse 9 to 10 honor the lord with your wealth with the first fruits of your crops then your bands will be filled to overflowing, and your verse will brim over with new wine. Honor the Lord with what you have. 
okay god will continue to bless you another one is first john 5 14 to 15. this is the confidence we have in approaching god that if we ask anything according to his will that is his divine he hears us and if we know that he hears us whatever we ask we know that we have what we ask that is when you pray when you ask god for money just believe that you have gotten it when you ask god for wealth just believe Pray with faith and God will do it. Deuteronomy 28 verse 11 to 12 says, The Lord will grant you abundant prosperity in the fruit of your womb, the young of your livestock, and the crops of your ground. In the land, he swore to your ancestors to give you. The Lord will open the heavens, the storehouse of his bounty, to send rain on your land in season and to bless all the work of your hands. You will learn to many nations and will borrow from none when you are doing this type of prayer know that you have something doing okay don't just be praying a little thing can yield so many you know a little thing can yield so many pray and hold that thing say father this is a little business i started prosper me god will do it proverbs 22 9 says the generous will themselves be blessed for they share their food with the poor always remember to share remember to share god will be giving you job 22 verse 21 said submit to god and be at peace with him in this way prosperity will come to you simple always submit to god and you have to pray ask god to help me to fulfill to submit your will lord help my soul to be at peace with all you do and deserve for me okay god will answer your prayer god will make everything okay for you another one is matthew chapter 6 verse 26 look at the best of the air they do not sow or reap or store away in bands and yet your heavenly father feeds them are you not much more valuable than they are you this is the word of god to us all these things we are looking for they are in the bible second corinthians 9 10 11 says now he who supplied seed to the sower and bread for food will also supply and increase your store of seed and will enlarge the harvest of your righteousness you will be rich in every way so that you can be generous on every occasion and your generosity will result in thanksgiving to god now always you give god thanks you give god thanks for blessing you luke chapter 20 uh, chapter 12 verse 29 to 31 says and do not set your heart on what you will eat or drink do not worry about it for the pagan will run after all such things and your father knows that you need them but seek his kingdom and these things will be given to you as well you know you have to love god you have to seek the kingdom of god don't say hey the suffering don't call that suffering just be positive in your life almighty god will provide for you remember that the earth the earth is the lord's and everything in it the world and all who live in it psalm 24 verse 1 so trust god he will be able to do marvelous things in your life you will succeed in jesus name amen my dear brothers and sisters please always try to put a like on this video and share it so that others will see it. May the good Lord be with us in Jesus' name.